hello 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 what's up what's up what's up you guys welcome to my channel journey to soul my name is z how are you guys doing today what is up with you hold on one minute i am just doing a uh, energy check-in per usual mm -hmm. Just checking in with this crazy energy. The moon just went into Capricorn. Again, we have three planets in Capricorn, okay? Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. As well as Mercury and Scorpio. And we're still in the Scorpio season. So, yeah. It's interesting. So I'm just checking in with all the um, divine beings out there um, to, again, see what the energy reads. This is a general message, all zodiac signs included. Mm -hmm. And I hope all is well. Okay, my name is Z. Please like, subscribe, and share if you like my video and it resonates not like it anyway okay so let's see what is going on with all of these capricorn transits hope everyone is thinking before they speak during this transit here mm. oh, okay no that's the ten of cups okay Taurus energy here. And I'm just going to get right into it. All zodiac signs included. We have an emperor here. Could be dealing with an Aries. And you know we have Mars in Aries. So there is that energy right off top. Okay. we I think Chiron is also in Aries. Um, not 100%. Sure. But anyways. The Emperor is here, okay? First card out the deck. Now, he came out a little janky. We do have the Three of Swords um, at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody's a little bit hurt here. Yeah, we do have the Six of Swords um, at the top of the deck. So, someone could be moving on. Someone could be going through a breakup here. Um, you could be the Emperor. You could be leaving the Emperor. Because right behind the Three of Swords, I've got the Chariot. Um, so... You know, this could be in regards to a masculine energy moving on. But someone is definitely with the Six of Swords. Yes, yeah, someone is definitely um, breaking ties with this emperor here. Or there's someone's breaking ties with some type of establishment here. Um, something on a grand scale here. I um, mean, it's a big break. That's why we have the Six of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Chariot here. You know, right here in the deck, right off the bat with the Emperor. So, this is big business. Big stuff, I guess I'm here. Mm. Okay. The Emperor. Mars and Aries. Okay. It's going to be interesting. Let's see what's going on. All right. We got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Okay. So, someone's focused on a star quality here, you know? Someone's focused on their back. Someone is focused on making their dreams come true. You know, this is a masculine and a feminine energy here. Um, that is doing the damn thing. What's at the top of the deck? Three of Wands. Yeah, ships are coming in. Things are coming into fruition here. Yeah, four of Wands. Behind the star card. Someone is just building a foundation here. Someone is manifesting um, the hell out of a lifestyle here. Someone is doing a lot of building here. Okay. This is just a lot of growth. And a lot of focus and attention, I see here. 
with the three of wands someone is definitely you know waiting for this it's a someone's waiting for their ships to come in but then they're not waiting okay because we have the emperor and we have the queen of pentacles like they're moving like someone's ships are going to come in but they're doing big things you know even with prior manifestations going on okay and, and here we are with the nine of cups right here i mean someone's doing it big here mm -hmm. so i guess with these capricorn you know planets and mars and aries people are really taking control here okay so the princess of swords with the eight of pentacles i feel like someone wants to reach out with a message here could be dealing with the taurus um it's interesting a lot of earth energy uh, but not just any earth energy like grand grand old earth energy someone could be traveling oh what is this okay so we got the two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups here. Someone's multitasking here. Could be dealing with a Virgo here, but wow. I have the Wheel of Fortune um, at the bottom of the deck. No, Queen of Pentacles, there's Ten of Pentacles here. Um, you know, plus there's a partnership here. You know, someone also um also could be making trying to make a choice between a air sign and a a Virgo here like you have more of a connection like a divine union or soulmate yeah exactly okay confirmation with the four wands and the eight days of wands again someone's trying to make a um, decision between a princess of swords this person uh, this female energy may be younger than you I don't know um, if this is not a relationship, um, this could just be, you know, again, the choice between two contracts. That is also here, too. Um, the emperor with the um, with the princess of swords, you know, versus the queen of pentacles. With this two of cups over here and the nine of pentacles. This could be um, solely between two careers, two paths here. Again, contracts. You do have contracts here. Queen of Cups um, at the bottom of the day. Um, if this is a relationship, um, possibly with this Virgo you have, or Cancer, you have a home and, you know, home and kids here. You know, this is, I have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. You know, this is where the passion is. You know, there's not much going in over here. Hmm. That's interesting. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, with the lovers. Oh my God. That is very interesting. Again, you know, in regards to this Queen of Pentacles, in regards to a female Earth sign, possibly. Is is this is not ninety nine percent for sure? This is in regards to a relationship. Okay, in regards to this Earth sign, this female Earth sign. Um, You know, there's enough to make it last here. You have the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Lovers here. 
I mean, you're not going to get any more passion than that. Unless the devil card comes out over there. I mean... Again, I'm not seeing... You know, you know, hopefully someone, um, because you could possibly already be in a relationship, in a commitment, in a divine partnership with this person and, um, giving to a younger female over here, that's not going to go well at all because there is too much heaven sent. With this female earth sign here or this this cancer again doesn't have to but there's a, a independent this whatever female this is or whatever option this is um it's a solid option this person is very independent and you have a lot of passion for this person hmm yeah someone's thinking about it i don't know what, uh, so, okay. Wow. This is very specific. I, oh, let's get relationships. I'm not gonna, this is very. Seven of Cups. Oh, the death card. Oh, wow. So. You know. There could be an ending here, um, and again, in regards to this jackpot that was, because of these options. Yeah, someone has options, you know, with the two of swords, someone's in indecision here. They're not making a move. Um... Yeah, someone is totally stuck here, but what are you stuck on? Okay, because now the death card is here. And someone's talking shit in regards to these options. Are there going to be? Someone's definitely going to take a hit here. Someone's going to be left wounded or someone has been wounded. In regards to all these options. You can't play with the two of cups. The four of wands. And the lovers. Because you can't get that a dime a dozen. Okay. Yeah with it. Wow. Someone's. Made a mistake. Yeah with the eight of cups. It's too late. Yeah. They made a mistake. Yeah ten of wands. With the five of pentacles. Wow. I mean someone gambled. And they lost. But my thing is, what did you gamble? Because nothing has came up on this Princess of Swords. She looked good, and that's it. She might have been a dancer. Um, she might have been, you know, um, very voluptuous. You know, you very um, tempting, a temptress. No judgment. No judgment, but um, someone's in the Ten of Wands. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Very interesting. The Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, someone's out in the cold because they were playing two sides. Mm -mm -mm. And what do we have here? Nine of Cups. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ain't that something else? And you know, this this person that doesn't have anything to show for anything over here. Um, of course, that's just what they wanted, this female energy here. That's just what she wanted. That was wish fulfillment for her. Total wish fulfillment. Total wish fulfillment. For this 20% here. Mm -hmm. Someone gowned up. 
101% over here. Not even 80. It's not even 80. 20 rule. We have the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Lovers. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. This is 101% over here, okay? This is divine blessings. Someone decided to come over here to this female energy here. And offer up some love. And it didn't go well. Because she did what she did best because, um, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles. That's why it was always all over the place. What is this, Spirit of Lord? Yeah, with the Sun card. Yep. Cats out the bag. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Someone learned a lesson here. Mm-mm-mm. I just want to end it because the Ace of Swords at the top of the deck. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go in because this don't make no sense. I mean, because, again, no judgment. Because it, but it's just this princess of swords here. She looks good. I don't, I don't, I don't see what else is going on. Um, let's just clarify here what's going on with this emperor. You know, someone had to, had to have it all, but they slept on a female energy over here that was doing the damn thing. Okay. You know, the emperor wanted to go play here, okay, and got played. Wow. Mm-hmm. Got played and got slayed with the queen of swords. Wow. Not good. Oh, it's the Emperor Spirit. Please give me one. Oh, okay. Didn't I say got played and slayed with the Queen of Swords? The King of Swords. <laughs> Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the day. I'm not going any further, okay? I don't need any more clarity here. Yeah, with the Nine of Swords. Somebody is left in pearl here. I mean, because it was just a bad gamble. Very bad gamble. Well, let's get an outcome. Okay, I mean, we know the outcome, but maybe we'll get a, a suggestion or, ooh, because <laughs> guidance with the higher fit. This is a lesson here. This is the higher fit. Twice the higher fit is here. This is a lesson here. Okay. You know, yeah, page of cups with the page of pentacles. You know, you can't. <laughs> yeah, with the empress. In regards to an empress. Yeah, judgment at the bottom of the day. Judgment at the bottom of the day. This is a lesson. Yeah. You know, four of cups here. Somebody did not want what God was blessing them with. Again. Two of Cups, Four of Wands with the Lovers. Um, and now there has been a judgment call. A door has been closed. Okay? All right, so that has been my channeling for my channel. My name is Z. Thanks for watching Journey to Soul. Please like, subscribe, and share if you like the video and it resonates. Thank you. Bye.